inserting, editing, and grouping shapes in PowerPoint. You will be asked to insert different types of shapes in your PowerPoint presentation. So, in my slide where I have to insert the shape, I go to Insert, I go to Shapes, and there's a whole lot of different shapes that you can choose from or that you have to insert by your instruction. So, let's insert the right arrow, remember you click on the shape you want to insert, you click and you hold down and you shape the arrow or the, the shape, the, big, the size you want it. If I need to insert another shape, insert shape, let's go for the left arrow, I can insert another shape, make it bigger or smaller, up and down arrow makes it bigger, remember the four arrow moves it around. There's my two arrows that I've inserted. I can insert a third shape. Let's put a circle in the middle. I can make it nice and big so that my shapes is nicely visible. Now I can type in my shape. If I select my shape, I right click. I go to edit text. And then my flickering light will appear and I can type whatever information they ask me. I can go to the next one and I click edit text. I can type my information and also the third one, right click edit text. And... There, I have inserted my text and I have edited them, or I inserted text in them. At the moment, your text or your shapes is all still single. So each shape is on its own. When I take, when I click on the first arrow, I can move that arrow wherever I want to. If I click on the circle, I can move it wherever I want to. If I want to group these shapes, if I want to make these shapes one, one picture where I can move all three of them at once. If I click on my first shape, I press down control on my keyboard, I hold it in, I click on the next shape, and I click on the next shape. If there's five shapes, I hold control in and then click on all five shapes so that all three or all five of them has got a block around them. On top of my toolbar now, I've got drawing tools. Anything to do with those shapes will be under drawing tools. There you'll see something that says group, group objects. If I click on the down arrow, I click on group. Now I've got one big block around all three my shapes. Now I can move. When I move, I move all three shapes at the same time because I've grouped them to become one. Let's do it quickly again. At the moment, after I've inserted my shapes, I've got three different shapes. When I click on the first one, I press Control, I hold it in, I click on the next shape, and I click on the next shape. Then I leave Control. Top of my toolbar, Drawing Tools. Format, Group, click on Group, and I group the shapes. Now my shapes has got one big block around it, and it means that I can move them as one big shape. In the exam, or in the test, you will have to, after grouping your shapes, you will have to select the shapes, and you will have to make a print screen so that you can see the one big block to show me that you've grouped them. Press print screen, you minimize, you open a blank word document, you click on paste, and there I can see that you've grouped the shapes. There's one big block. You cannot make a print screen when it looks like this. There's no block. You didn't select your shapes. You didn't show me that you 
selected or grouped the shapes. You have to click on the shapes so that the block is visible and then you make the print screen where I can see that you have grouped the shapes. Now I can copy and paste these shapes or these group shapes from one slide to another. I make sure that I've selected them. Right click, copy, go to another slide, right click and I can paste my shapes in another slide. So I insert each shape on its own, whichever shape they want me to insert. I right click, edit the text, and I type in my shape. Then I click each, click on the first shape, press control, click on the other shape so that all of them are selected. I go to group, I click on group so that I have one big block around all my shapes. I make a print screen of this so that I can see your block around your shapes. I paste it in Word so that it's visible. If you look in your print screen, there's your block showing me that you've grouped the shapes. I can copy and paste these shapes, right click, copy, go to a new slide, right, right click, sorry, and paste, and I can paste my group shapes from one slide, copy and paste my group shapes from one slide to another.